Greetings and welcome my fellow guardians, Joker here, and today, today we are back in Destiny. Again. But this time, for a history lesson. Well, sort of. So first off, I want to go ahead and give credit where credit is due. A huge thanks to Bell Bunny and Royal for pointing this out on Twitter. So if we go ahead and take a look at it, we notice there are some rather interesting things going on here. Firstly, IX is the Roman numeral for 9. Secondly, the symbol is glowing purple and pulsing black within the marking. This is very reminiscent of Destiny's Void Magic. And lastly, this potted plant is the only one with purple flowers in it. Flowers that, mind you, before this symbol, didn't exist. Now, the symbol doesn't do anything when you approach it, and that's because it's, well, kind of an easter egg. The symbol seems to be tied to Xur, Agent of the Nine, or at least that's my theory. Today is Friday, September 11th, and Xur is in the tower. Something else to note, and this is just a theory, again, September 11th is the second weekend in September. Four pillars, four weeks in a month, and the symbol is on the second pillar. But again, like I said, that's just a theory. Moving forward to that history lesson, this actually might be something rather interesting for lore buffs. I've been calling this a symbol or a marking, but that's not necessarily accurate. It's a sigil. Sigils have different sources throughout history from where they come from, but the one Destiny seems to draw from is the interpretation of sigils from the Lesser Keys of Solomon. This is generally how most modern media represents sigils. You may have seen it in things such as Supernatural. Sigils in this manner are used to summon, bind, and repel demons, angels, spirits, or what we'll call other cosmic entities. Sigils used like this generally fall in line with the concept of true names, something else we see throughout Destiny. Eris and her fire team adorn themselves in the Star of Ishtar, or at least a variation of it, for protection. The Hive adorn their walls with the symbols of Crota or the other gods in the Pantheon to invoke their power. These are just a few examples, but we really see this all over Destiny. Like I said before, some are used to identify things, places, names, others to summon things, and this one seems to be a combination of summoning and binding. And what it appears is this one is used to summon and bind Zer to the tower for the weekend. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and like always, my fellow guardians, stay frosty.